It's been over a month since I did a video on the quest to 1 billion wild gold, so this is going to be a catch up on what has been one of my most profitable months ever and why that sucks so much. Firstly, let's have a look at the seven day dashboard. Six million gold profit in seven days, that's fine, pretty average for me, but doesn't show why I think this has been one of my best months ever. Mount sales as per standard, some premium call for your transmog selling at those new higher prices. Probably the most interesting thing on here is the Croaks, which is low tier call for your transmog, which has started selling in force and we will touch on in a future video. A more in depth look at what's been selling in the last seven days and there's not much going on here. The main thing to note is that I've cut the prices on the Zerif Mortis Cloaks and you can see I've started getting regular sales at 100k at the bottom on a couple of them. My average buy price at the moment is 6k, so getting sales like this pays for a huge amount of cloaks that I have stockpiled. The next episode in this series will likely be covering these cloaks in a bit more detail. On the purchases side, you can see I continue to invest in Zerif Mortis Cloaks, but like we said, more of that to come. The Drust Sives that I keep telling everyone are great gold makers keep doing well for me. I bought three this week for 3k gold and sold four for 114k gold. I picked up some reasonably cheap island transmog as well. That's not unusual at this time in an expansion. Players start doing things like islands either because they are mount collectors or as a gold farm when current expansion stuff is worth a lot less at this point. So what has made this month so profitable and why is this both bad and good? Basically, I had a huge stockpile of trade goods that I'd bought really cheap on some servers. The only problem I had was that I'd struggled to sell them because these servers would be the region cheapest and more supply would come rushing in even when I bought loads out, so I ended up just stockpiling tons and tons of really cheap trade goods. Then patch 927 came out and suddenly I had cross-realm auction house and huge markets to sell all these trade goods to, and in the majority of cases, for a hefty profit. The last month has really been about clearing out huge stockpiles of stuff that in most cases hasn't even been listed on the auction house for months. So what has been the problem here if I'm saying I've had crazy sales in the last month? This is Tovir Hieroglyphs, a niche flippable item that has been a solid earn for me and this is showing everything from around the last year. 546 purchases at 840k, 488 sales for 2.8 million gold, which sits at around 2 million gold profit a year from just this item with a little bit of stock still to clear. Now if we just look at around the 30 days since patch 927 released you can see half of those sales for that whole year came around the patch release so like it said it's really helped me clear out stock fast. The problem is that I used to be able to pick these up stupidly cheap on some servers and now with the cross rail auction house many of these markets have just completely dead for me. Queen Garnet is another market that I've cleared out stock and made loads of gold but that 1 million gold a year I made from it is gone for good. The TLDR is that patch 927 has allowed me to clear massive amounts of trade goods that in some cases have been sat in guild banks since before Shadowlands released, but it has killed many markets for me long term. This may sound like bad news, but it's finding these new ways to make gold that I find the most fun, and the new cross realm auction house is going to allow us to do some absolutely insane things in the long term. We are already seeing way more region-wide market resets than I ever thought we would do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.